Subscribe now. Hi, I'm Pam Fisher. I'm here to tell you to tune in to this exclusive interview of my husband, Pastor Fisher, and two of his good friends. One, TV actor and comedian, Mr. Palmer Williams Jr. We know him from the hit TV series, Tyler Perry's Love Thy Nigga. And also, the baby daughter of the legendary B.B. King. She's nationally known in her own right as jazz and blues singer and author. I'm talking about none other than Miss Claudette King. Mr. Williams will be interviewing my husband, Pastor Fisher, on his new single, They Talked About Jesus, featuring Miss Claudette King. So sit back and enjoy this exclusive interview. Subscribe now. Hey, this is your grown man, Palmer Williams Jr., and I have the honor and the pleasure to interview some people that are old friends and brand new friends. Today, we have Pastor Ernest Fisher, and we're here at Fisher Enterprises yes, and recording yes. this live interview. And we have the lovely Miss Claudette King, yes. who Hello. later, if you don't know her now, you will know her <laughs> by the end of this interview. Yes, yes we are definitely mm. sitting amongst royalty. Yes, we are. So we're going to get right into it. All right, now, first of all, Miss Claudette, tell us how you met Pastor Fisher. Oh, I was in the studio, and um, he happened to be in the production room. Mm -hmm. And I walked in, and, and I kept seeing him talking to the production office uh, manager. And he kept looking at me, and then he said, oh, you know what? I heard you in the studio, and I'm getting an album together or a single together. Would you be interested? And I said, yeah. And then he told me he was a pastor, and I did. Whoa, a right. pastor? Especially, <laughs> especially dressed like that. You, know sure. you thought he was just like some sort of Jamaican Brazilian. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But being that I'm a blues artist, and then when he said he was a pastor, I knew it was gospel music. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I met him. Yeah, wonderful. Well, Pastor Fisher, now when you met her, what was your impression of her? I know that you actually saw her in the studio and everything, and you heard her voice. What was your impression, and what made you approach her? I was like, who was that lady? She was in the studio. She was singing. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And I was like, where is that voice coming from? You wow. know, and so I heard it, and I was like, well, you know me. As soon as somebody walks out, as soon as she walked out, I looked, I looked at her, and I said, hey, how you doing? I introduced myself right away. Right. And I let her know I, I asked, took, that she got a beautiful voice, and uh, and I didn't know who she actually was right, right. at the time. And we're going to get to that we're gonna get right to that. away. Yeah. Truly, we're going to get to that <laughs> now. Now, Claudette, we, we've heard already that you can sing, so it's obvious that you're an artist. Yes, you're I am. You're a singer. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your music and what style, what genre are you in, and uh, what you are doing with your music, and what have you been doing with your music? Okay, well, the type of music that I'm doing in, is blues. I am a blues artist. I'm mm. following the legacy of my father, um, but I'm also involved into uh, R&B, <laughs> gospel mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. <laughs> hip hop, and so on. Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. amazing that you're saying that you're a blues singer. Everybody always associated that with being so sad and downtrodden and everything. But yeah. you're about the mm -hmm. smiling as happiest woman <laughs> yeah, I've ever seen is. in my life she to is. be a blues yeah. singer. So yeah. I just want to put that out there. It's like she's, she's got that sassy she's that happy out blues. Out yeah. <laughs> Is that, if there right. is such a genre, <laughs> she is definitely going to be the queen of happy blues. Mm -hmm. now, I like uh, that. So now I noticed that you said you're you're continuing the legacy of your father. Now who exactly is your father? If you will like reveal it to the uh, to the uh, audience, who is Claudette King's father? The king of blues, BB King. BB King. Let's give a big yeah. hand for the legendary. It's gold. <laughs> yes. But his music lives on. Yes, yes it does. God is faithful. Won't yes, he do he it? Is. He and did. so you are where along the lineage of children? Where where are you? I'm his baby child. Baby, his baby girl. girl. Wow. I'm the fifteenth child. Fifteen. Yes. So yeah. now, Pastor, you know there's always yes. like seven for rest. <laughs> Don't ask me. Eight for new beginnings. What me. is 15? Thank the Lord that I made it. Ah! I know that's right. No, you, you made did. it on in. No, you in the did. army of 15, you yes. made it on in. Exactly. Wow. That is that's amazing. Terrible. So, that is terrible. Now, now, well, hey, you know, that's what we're here for. You know, <laughs> to bring out the dirt. 
<laughs> no, no, not really. No, no. This is a good, clean show. No, I want, I want to ask you this. Yeah, we're talking about gospel yes. shows. We're talking about 15 kids and everything else. Ooh. She obviously wasn't listening to um, uh, gospel it. music <laughs> all the time. There was some blues in there somewhere. But anyway, I wow. digress. But uh, let, let me ask you this. So what music are you working on now? So what, what are you working on? Are you working on a new album? I know with COVID-19 and everything, the entertainment industry has kind of shut down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And really, I think this now is the time for the creatives to really go back to the lab and create some new stuff. Correct. So what do we have to look forward to with you? Uh, well, with me, as I said a little earlier, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm mm. doing the blues, which, which was one of my dad's requests from me. Wow. So I'm doing the blues, I'm doing hip hop, and I'm also doing wow. gospel. gospel. Wow. Yeah. Well, you can tell you're working with a gospel hip-hop artist with his hairstyle. <laughs> here, here. Yes. Yeah. I'd say, last yeah. time I saw him, he had a little bit of an S-curl, but yeah. now I hey, see yeah. him, and like, yeah. whoa, it it's been too hey, long. Hey, don't hate. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Hey, if I imitate this right. some weed, okay? You can't catch this. Ain't you know, nothing ain't like the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> know, that's right. Oh, well, right. Well, let me ask you this now. You have this single that you've uh, both collaborated on. Correct. They talked about they Jesus. They talked about mm -hmm. Jesus. Now, you know, that's something that, you know, as we were growing up, some of the uh, our elder and ancestor types mm -hmm. uh, would say something like, you know, you worried about them talking about you. You know, they talked about Jesus. Yes. That's right. You you know, why don't you just kind of, like, explain I guess the uh, the mindset when you wrote this and how the collaboration happened right. and you know right. just kind of elaborate on that. Well, you know, people tend to focus on the negative things about you know, bad news is better than good news. Mm. It, it, it flies much quicker in this day and time. And so you know, I'm thinking you know, okay, now you know, if they it came from the concept of uh, if people ain't talking about you. They thinking about you. You know mm, what I'm saying? Right. So mm. When they talking about you, they thinking about you. Right, right, right. right. And so therefore. All my life, and for many years, people, you know, people talk, you know, the hearsayers and all naysayers and all that other kind of stuff. So, anyway, this song came about what if they talked about if they talked about Jesus, Jesus did something. <laughs> well, was. I'm doing something. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing something. Mm -hmm. right. So if, if they talked about him, right. they talking about us. That's you right. know what I'm saying? So when they talking about you, they're thinking about you. And usually, when people are talking about you, they ain't got nothing of their own business to be concerned about. Cause no, they're in your business. True. So that's where it all came from. So that's so, basically the message that you want people to get from this song. Right, yeah. And what are your thoughts about it as well? I pretty much of? felt the same way. I mm, pretty yeah. much felt the same yeah. way because the, mm. the, the lyrics that he wrote, I mean, you could feel it. You could feel it. You know that he's giving a message out. So I love it. So that yeah, basically was Thank the importance you. of why you even wanted to be a part of this particular project, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, okay. So I know one thing that um, we've known each other for about, 15 years now, we just mm -hmm. figured out that, you know, yeah. we saw each other at yeah. Sweet Georgia Juke Joint. You were taking your, your, your wife <laughs> to eat. Don't, don't, Not don't, that don't. you were there, you know, he was there with <laughs> Remember, y'all, he's a comedian, okay? Well, he was, he was there with, with pamphlets <laughs> trying to, you know, convert everybody Not in, at all. in the spot. You know, <laughs> but, but, uh, but, 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 but what I want to know is that um, in listening to the song, and and knowing you for these years and and now developing a new friend yes um this sounds a lot like it's personal for you it almost as it if is. it was a testimony it is you know i have been looking for somebody for a long time because this song was, was wrote some time ago mm -hmm. but i have been looking for somebody to collaborate with on this song mm -hmm. and you know you just it's one of those things you know it when you know it mm -hmm. you know and when i heard her sing i knew it i mean <laughs> I, finally i, I waited wow. on the lord Right, right. To give me who he wanted me to have to be on this song, and I had no idea, you know, he was gonna give me a, 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 a Claudette King, the <laughs> right. one and only, the legend in her, in her own right, in her right, right, own right. name. Thank right, you, right, right. thank you. you. Know. So that was yeah. just beautiful. So I guess I wasn't available. But anyway, no. so and maybe you would CC the Lord to ask me. No. But it's all good, though. I didn't. Uh, no. <laughs> but you know what? Through these years and everything, I've known you to be a, a, a man that has had like an outgoing ministry yes. and things like that. And even inviting me to a graduation of sorts for some right. of the um, a substance. Uh, survivors so to speak right. as opposed to be calling them addicts or something like that but survivors of, of abuse of, of, of substances and getting them to go out into the world with a, a refreshed mindset with that being said 
you have getting you've been getting accolades over the years because of your work in the streets and being uh, you know a soldier on the ground and of course with you carrying on the legacy of the legendary BB King you have gotten your accolades as well yes. and uh, can you kind of expound upon some of the things that you know you've been blessed to be acknowledged with you know various awards and accomplishments mm -hmm. and things like that and just things in your life that you know that you've been able to to come across with with people actually acknowledging your good works you know and I'm gonna start with the lady first okay um, I have received I'm so happy and I'm proud of myself and I wish my dad was here I have been inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame Wow that's major. <laughs> yeah that's major. I have yes, received an achievement award um, lifetime achievement award wow. um, I have received the. Now the you've gotten ball. a lifetime achievement award, and you only thirty six. That is amazing. <laughs> I love that it. Is Isn't that nice? Yeah, that, that's how you get your check. <laughs> yeah, that, that, oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> so from the lifetime achievement award, yes, blues I've induction. Received, what else is there? I've received the key to the city of Atlanta. Oh uh, no, Louisiana. Oh, I was getting ready to say. <laughs> Everybody got keys in Atlanta. <laughs> Keisha, Kemp, all of them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know. But that's the beautiful okay, thing. Okay, I received though. an award okay. from New York City. Wow. All these places, huh? Wonderful. Just having all these problems. Wow. Yeah, and then in August, August the 9th, I'll be receiving a Blues Award wow. as well and uh, proclamation. And then where is that going to be? Uh, that's at Backstage. Uh, there's going to be... In Atlanta. In Atlanta. Okay. There's okay. going to be a lot of other artists that's going to be there. Wonderful, yeah, wonderful. What yeah. about you, Pastor Fisher? Well, let me start, because you, you talked about what I did, how we met as, in, you know, with the ministry and everything. Right, right, right. And, um, for many years, I did Spirit of Love Men's Outreach Ministries right. in Atlanta, right. where we helped guys that was recovering from drugs and alcohol. It was right. a men's ministry. Yes. Yes. And so we did that for many years. Uh, um, but me, myself, and I love the opportunity when it presents itself for me to let everybody know, you know, I'm a recovering, born again, drug addict myself. Wow. You know, wow. God delivered me from drugs and alcohol. Wow. So I, I'm not ashamed to put my story out, out there and right. let people know that if he did it for me, he can do it for you. Right. And That's so right. I, I, I do not neglect the opportunities to be able to tell my story. All right. But in it, to me, in that itself, what God has done for me is an accolade in itself. Right, 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 and I right. thank God for that. Along with that, over the past few years, you know, I've been, I've been singing and writing music and preaching and going places. But I, a couple of years ago, I had the opportunity to go on the Bobby Jones show. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so that was a definitely a great experience. Yeah. Uh, um, last year, I also won the International Gospel Music Awards oh, wow. ah. here in Atlanta. Wow. And so, yeah. and so, you know, I'm, you know, my career is going, you know, exactly the way God would have it to go. Right. Right. You know, right. So, right. Yeah. As if you had a choice. <laughs> For real. Well, God is able. Now, um, amongst all of this that has been going on, all the accolades that you are, uh, you're going to have some new music coming out as well. Yes. What can we expect from you as far as new music? I'm, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to continue the legacy. I'm going to mm -hmm. do, I'm working on projects with um, Tupac's cousin. Okay. Um, I'm also doing my own blues where I'm actually producing the music as well as the lyrics. I mean, the whole shabam. Right, and right. so, and I'm enjoying Just a passion it. project, yes, I'm sure. Yes, it is, it is. I'm doing some acting as well. What? Yeah. Watch out now. Right. Another one. <laughs> and, and I wrote a book. I know, right? Yes. And we're yes. definitely going to talk author. about that book. <laughs> yes. so you, got, yeah. you know what T.D. Jake said once, you know, have five streams of income. Mm -hmm. So in case two go down, yeah. you still got three. Yes, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, you know, those are the things that um, I think with uh, watching the example of yourself and then as well as you, Pastor Fisher, with having your own enterprise and having your own TV show and things like that and working on a video and all that sort of thing, you know, people need to know how to become economically strong. Yes. If you really want to protest, yes. basically become economically or fiscally fit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like your fiscal, yes. not just your physical. Yes. And so I think that is also sending a message out to the young and to the not so mm -hmm. young that, you know, that's how we actually can really become a better people mm -hmm. if we're economically sound mm -hmm. and we're able to empower ourselves economically to where you don't have to rely on somebody else. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, so you don't even understand you being living examples. So I applaud you both on doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank now, can you. we see another collaboration from the two of you in the future? <laughs> I Absolutely, so. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was a lot of I fun. I mean, but you was looking at her like as if to say, like, was that last check okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
He was like, well, was it? Cool? <laughs> you know, like, okay, fifty dollars more. It's you. It's you. <laughs> Basically, right. it's you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but yes, I mean, this was a uh, honor beyond honors that I could have, I could never would have thought that this would have came about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said yes. You know, I mean, I was expecting, ever since she and I started talking, we, we, it's just like brothers and sisters, we've been knowing each other forever. Yeah. Right, 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 right. I right. mean, we laugh and talk all the time, like, 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 yeah. like we've always been. And that's how other. it's been with us just yeah. before this yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. she's yeah. in Marietta. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I don't put her address up. <laughs> no, no. She's in Marietta, Louisiana. <laughs> So, man, yeah, <laughs> not too far from me in Augusta, Georgia. Uh -huh. So, yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying to figure that whole thing out of how close she lived four hours apart. All right, so uh, but let me ask you this. I know the we're Palmer about to. Williams show, y'all. Uh, exactly. From your mouth to God's ears. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but what I want to I know is um, how can people... Once they see this, how can they reach out to you on social media? You know, social media is such a big yeah. part of an artist's life now. Yes. Yes. You know, and that's yes. how, yes. And, and the beautiful part about it is free advertising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, how can people, you know, contact you on, say, i.e. Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Instagram? You know, maybe we too old to be on TikTok. I don't know. But uh, how can, uh, you know, being that she's only 36, um, how is I'm it that we uh, you, no. can contact you on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook? Well, the best thing for them to do is to go directly to my website. Okay. And my website, they have, you have tags where you can go from there and it'll tag you onto the Twitter. And what is that address? That, that email, well, my website is claudettebluesking.com. Now, spell Claudette for some of them out there that still can't spell <laughs> entanglement. That's C-L-A-U-D-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, King. Or, well, Claudette Blues, B L U E S, King. Now, they can't spell blues. They don't even need to be on the internet. <laughs> blues, but how about S. that? Yeah, yeah well. because, I, because yeah. I have been labeled Claudette the Blues. With a Z King on it. With uh -huh. a Z. That's right, right. correct. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so you got that Claudette Blues King mm -hmm. dot com. Correct. So make sure you contact them, and then you have all the links. Mm -hmm. and what about you, Pastor Fisher? Well, you know, all of us 36-year-old people, we always keep it simple. <laughs> right, 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 right. And so mine is just simply PastorFisher.net, my website. Okay. And as she said, it'll connect you to all the other outlets. And you spell right. Fisher how? <laughs> right there. I can't spell it, but you can read it right there on the I know, right? Okay. <laughs> no one here will have his glasses on. He can read his own right now. God bless his heart. Please. Let's just ask for a healing. <laughs> I heal it for Pastor Lord Fisher Lord so he can verse. read the word completely. <laughs> right. Because sometimes he'll read Bible verses well, and it's the NIP, the new interesting version. Uh -huh. But anyway, we've been having a really good time here. <laughs> yes, I've we really have. enjoyed yes. my time spent here with you. Now, at this point, I think we're about to have the world premiere mm -hmm. of the video featuring the two of you mm -hmm. of They Talked About Jesus. Yes. But before we do that, I have a shameless plug. I just happen to have a complimentary. No, I said complimentary. <laughs> I even complimentary. Copy. Oh, oh, isn't okay. this your copy? <laughs> that was, see how you did that? How you did that? Hey, you better watch all your I stuff. I got a CD for you. Okay. I <laughs> but this is the book entitled "My Dad and Me" by yes. Miss Claudette King, and where it features a lot. It's a good read. I've been reading it already because I already have claimed it to be mine. <laughs> and I'm going to get it signed. And uh, what it is, is one of the things that is amazing about this, it even talks about some of the dark times correct. in your life. That's and correct. even, as a matter of fact, when we were talking earlier about, uh, let's just say you were, were an acquisition. <laughs> and uh, you may want to elaborate on that a little bit when, when I say an, as she was an acquisition. <laughs> well, uh, it, it, it tells you pretty much about uh, who I am. Uh, what I had to experience throughout my life, mm -hmm. um, the things that, the dark sides that I had to overpass, and to let you know I'm just like any, and other, any other person, you know, that goes through hard times. Even though I may have a name that's behind me or in front of me, I'm still me, which right. is Claudette King. And then also yes. you, you elaborate on being a celebrity child. Definitely. And but that's something you and I are going to talk about. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah. talk about it. This, this, this is a book now. This is a play later. 
or a movie. So that you know, would be wonderful. Yeah, you got two executive producers right here. See, yeah. like, you, look, the, look, the look, wheels are look. turning. Yeah, 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 they're turning. I, but I saw something yeah. like a dollar sign on your forehead. Right, right, right. But, but, but I'm still stuck on this one little thing right here. What's that? That I knew her first, and you get the book first. I'm still trying to figure that one out. It in my not, in my studio here, you can't you can't lay nothing down. That's okay. your book, and he so talk. There's some there's, oh. some there's some camera okay. equipment that's questionable before okay. I leave. Uh, I'm just trying me. to see how I can bag the car and get it real fast. <laughs> I'll let you have your little funky book. Thank you. Anyway, um, funky oh, it's book? funky. No, well, look, it's funky, funky now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's funky like in music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Funky blues. That's what okay, I meant. That's okay. what I meant. Uh -huh. That's what well, like, You know what's up now, right? <laughs> but look, I just want to say once again, thank you once again for allowing yes. me to interview you and 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 the, our unwanted guest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and yeah. allowing me to interview you and everything has been my pleasure. It has been a thank pleasure you. to meet you today. Thank you. And, and know that you well. exist. <laughs> and, and, and that you're you know, four hours away from me in our neighborhoods. And uh, knowing that I'm coming up here to Fisher Enterprises. Mm -hmm. And if nobody's ever told you this before, and even in the times that I've known you, I'm very proud of you. Thank yeah, you. You know, because sometimes you. we need brothers to sharpen each other's wow. iron. Yeah. Thank so I'm very yeah. proud of you and what you've accomplished, Thank especially you, yes. to get somebody like me to interview you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's going to be our life. show for the day and everything, but I'm sure we're going to have another Palmer one Williams for the show. next co collaboration. <laughs> My name again, Palmer Williams Jr. You can go to palmerwilliamsjr.com and Palmer Williams J on all the other uh, platforms of Twitter and Instagram because my name is too long to put that last R on there. All right? God bless you. Once again, Pastor Ernest Fisher. Which is my grandfather's hey. name, Ernest. Okay. And I never told you that. Uh -huh. Just found that out. Uh -huh. they, I never called you Ernest. Right. And then we have Miss Claudette King. So yeah. please, the artist cannot survive without your support. Exactly. Amen. So at exactly. this point now, if you really yes. want to support them, stay tuned because now we're getting ready to have the world premiere, world premiere. of the video featuring right Pastor here. Ernest Fisher <laughs> and Miss Claudette nowhere. King. Stay right they here. Talked about Jesus. That's right. So who are you if they talk about you? Exactly. <laughs> who are you? It. <laughs>
and they followed right behind. But when it came time for him to die, nobody could be found. They talked about him so bad, and nobody was around. I said that they talked about him so bad, and nobody was around. Now the only time I swear is when they stop talking about me, talking about me, yeah, talking about me. Jesus, they talk about Jesus. 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 They talk about